Hi, this is another tip that I wanted to share with you. First of all, if I sound a bit weird, well, I'm having the flu and a massive cold, so I've started the new year with a bang. Anyway, nothing better than do a little ZBrush. So, over here, I have a flat drawing, if you will, in 3D. So, if I hide the others and turn on my polyframe, and go to the lowest subdivision you see it's simple it's a flat plane that I have subdivided and moved in the position with the move brush to draw out a silhouette so this video is about an alternative to drawing actually on a plane uh, the advantage is that you have geometry and you also can draw on it. So I've also drawn on it to sketch out some proportions, the eye, the mouth, the ear, to have an idea of what I want to achieve later on. And over here I also have started some hair. Same principle, it's completely flat. And I've started this with shadow box. So I'm going to duplicate the hair, turn off or I could better duplicate the body, so I'm going to delete, OK, and duplicate the body. Moving up. And I don't know what I have here anyway, I have already another duplicate anyway. So, when you go to shadow box, and I'm going to pause for a moment because I have to copy. I'm back, sorry about that, so better coughing off screen than on screen. Anyway, so go to geometry, your shadow box, and I'm going to set the resolution to 265 and press shadow box. I'm going to clear the mask. Okay, now the cool thing is that you can make this, this geometry visible. I'm going to turn on transparency with ghosting. So you see with shadow box, you have a nice outline of your character and now I can for instance start drawing the arm with contr uh, control so to continue to draw and the initial phase is not that important because I can always reshape once I have my geometry. So turn off transparency, you see, now I have geometry. It is, of course, three-dimensional, so I'm going to turn off shadow box, turn on polyframe, shift-click to hide the other polygroup, and I have a second one, so I'm going to only make that one visible and delete hidden. Also going to flatten it out a bit because it's a bit curved. So with the transpose tool in, in, in move mode. Going to flatten it out a bit like that. And then it will maybe be barely visible on the video because I am working with a flat plane. So but I have flattened it out a bit. So Q for draw again and I'm going to Z remesh it and at the lowest target polygon count. So Z remesh and I have a nice looping mesh. So shift F, so now I can easily manipulate this however I want. So it's not really the purpose of the video to show you the whole design. I just wanted to share with you that you can draw on a plane, like I've shown in other videos, but also that you with shadow box or with you can start your geometry of course with other uh, tools like dynamish or um, adding a box and then deleting the rest like i've done flatten it out and then z remesh it and scale and start moving it around so if i want and i'm going to mask lasso no, and I don't have to, so I'm going to press R for rotate, draw my line, press Alt on the int one, and then I can move it around like that, and then turn off polyframe, 
And the cool thing is also that even though it is flat and even though it does is all the same color, it does show you a nice outline. So with the hair, the body, the, the arm, I mean, it has a nice outline so you can continue shaping it. So just wanted to share with you this method. Uh, I can of, of course also go to silhouettes and then I have a nice idea of my silhouette if I select the body and hide the arm. So you, with different subtools you have all the control that you need to check out every individual form and you can draw on it to find uh, further refine or to further indicate where you want to add other geometry and the cool thing is if I now want to start to sculpt so I'm going to duplicate this again delete my other subdivisions if I have no I don't have any initialize Q sphere move to and I can start sculpting. I can turn on transparency, of course, if I want to. So S and and I don't have symmetry on. So X and I am drawing my I have drawn my outline on the wrong plane. So all I have to do is rotate it. So in any case, so I can press. For instance, the Z and I should be sculpting OK. But you get the idea, I'm not going to continue completely like this. So drawing on a flat plane, sculpt with sculpting and drawing is a very ideal manner. And this has no subdivisions anymore, which it has lost them somehow so I'm going to over here subdivision so this is my lowest subdiv highest subdiv so you can really draw and with AccuCurve on you can make sharp angles if you want to like that with AccuCurve off you can do it soft like that so it offers a lot of possibilities to create a design before you start sketching in 3D and another advantage is you kind of have a backdrop that follows your geometry around. So if I am sculpting on this one, when you move, you see the, your backdrop is following around. Uh, I really like this method and I hope you found it useful. Sorry if the quality is a bit bad. I am massively sick. I have a high temperature, but I just wanted to do something to forget about my misery. Hope you enjoyed it and bye for now. And oh. Happy New Year. Bye.